Greetings all, and welcome to UV Mapping on the Fly, which is basically me in a three-dimensional environment uh, uh, using some of the UV mapping tools that are available in 3ds Max. Maybe throw in a couple of side uh, uh, tips and tricks of, of uh, that can be used. And uh, the purpose uh, uh, of this particular, well, let's say the goal of this tutorial is to take this three-dimensional space here. I'm going to call it the kill room. Basically, uh, in concept, it's uh, some something similar to the idea of those um, uh, training houses that uh, you know the SEALs use or or SWAT uses, where they can move uh, through the environment. But in this case, my goal is to make uh, basically a final map for the uh, for uh, the knockout uh, game type. That is uh, available in Urban Terror, and some of the uh, some of the uh, organizers are coming up with their own contests and so forth. So ideally, I would like this to be like a a, a maximum three-player level. You might be able to squeeze six into it, but you know that's <laughs> kind of get kind of close. So uh, I just would like this to be like a rather fast map to play in, very confined, restrictive, yet. Uh, put in um, some obstacles as we go along and at the same time being able to uh, add in some of the uh, let's say um, advanced type of uh, ideas and features that uh, that are uh, coming forward as uh, more and more um, mappers uh, sort of catch on to the idea that uh, a 3d application is really not that bad of an idea to add to the tool sets so uh, what I'm going to be doing here is this is entirely on the fly. It's just basically demonstrating a workflow to get you familiar as quickly as possible as to some of the uh, uh, key uh, the key tools within a working flow. And uh, the side effect to that, though, of course, is uh, any mistakes I make is going to be captured on camera. And uh, as I try to sneak my way back out of the problems that are created and uh, you know maybe we'll just carry on and keep going until the actual map is completed and in in game and uh, we're running around in it so uh, let's get on with the show here and uh, I'll try my best just to, to keep things on uh, on project shall we say but uh, hopefully uh, it's going to become quite obvious of how fast a process uh, from going from something as simple as a, a few uh, a few primitive objects within within a confined space can produce a, a rather entertaining design as well as a, a usable map. <laughs> 